Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing part two um, of the super cheap Bitcoin mining computer. Um, if you remember last time we put the majority of it together, um, we just needed a power supply. So we've got a power supply now. Um, so basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to put this in, plug everything in, um, set it all up, and then I'm going to set it up to start mining um, and show you how well it's performing. So uh, I guess let's screw this in and start plugging everything in. Okay, so now we finished the assembly um, of the actual computer. We can get into the software um, side of it. So I've gone in and I've installed, win I've installed Windows um, on the computer. As you can see, we Windows 7 um, installed. I think it's Windows 7 Ultimate or something like that. It doesn't really matter uh, what OS you use. Um, but I've got that all installed and everything. Um, so I'll just go through some of the programs that you're going to want to have installed um, if you're using your computer for mining. Now, first of all, um, you definitely want MSI Afterburner. Now, um, MSI Afterburner is basically a program that allows you to monitor the temperatures um, of all the different components, I guess, inside your computer, or rather just the CPU and graphics card, which are only really the two that matters. Um, so you can also change the clock speeds um, and power limits and everything of the graphics card, um, but it also allows you to make sure that your graphics card isn't getting too hot. Um, you can actually adjust the fan um, fan speeds and everything at certain temperatures um, because with mining your graphics card is going to be constantly um, under 100% load um, so you want to make sure that that's not getting too hot because um, it could damage the graphics card um, and definitely shorten the lifespan of it as well so you definitely want MSI Afterburner um, for that so it's very helpful for that um, another thing you might want is TeamViewer now you can probably tell um, this is I'm currently using TeamViewer now to record um, the screen on the mining computer. Um, now this is so that I don't have to have a monitor connected up to the mining computer all the time. Um, the mining computer is actually in a separate room, it's in the lounge, um, just sitting there in the corner um, and I just use TeamViewer to connect to it. I have it so that TeamViewer starts up automatically when the computer starts up. So if I need to go on and check stuff or do maintenance or whatever, um, I just fire up TeamViewer um, and I can do it that way. It makes it a lot easier than having to go and connect up uh, monitor, mouse, keyboard, etc, etc um, to the actual computer. So that's something that you might want to do. Um, now this part will vary depending on which type of coin you're mining. I'm mining a coin called Ubic um, which isn't as common as say Ethereum or Bitcoin which are the two main ones at the moment um, but it uses the same kind of um, mining tool I guess you could say. So there are two different pieces of software you're going to need um, specifically for Ubic. So the first one you're going to want to download is Fusion um, and that lets you create your Ubic wallet um, and that's basically where 
your Uber coins are going to go um, once you've mined them. Now, once you've done that as well, um, and you've set that all up, then you're going to want to download a program called Claymore, and this is the actual miner itself. This is the program that I've got open in here in the CMD window, and that's busy mining away. Um, so it'll be different configuration depending on uh, which coin you're mining, but essentially you're going to open up this batch file here. I won't open it up because you'll see my wallet details, etc. Um, but basically there you can set options. Um, if we have a look under the readme here, it tells you um, different options that you can set. Um, basically to set the miner to do different things. So you can basically set it up so that it stops mining if the graphics card gets above a certain temperature. Um, you can set names, um, all different modes, all those kind of things um, and all that. Uh, basically yeah, you don't really need to use most of these. Um, basically, just set it up to go to start mining. Um, a lot of that stuff is necessary um, just for general mining. Um, so yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, so I've got this set up. This is mining 24/7. Um, and something you may want to do as well to kind of give the computer a break um, is I've set it to automatically restart um, at 12 a.m. every night. Um, that just gives it Windows a chance to kind of reset, reboot. Um, just briefly gives the computer a little bit of a break for a couple minutes um, while it's restarting. Um, and to do that, you basically just go into Task Scheduler, like I showed you there, um, and create a file, a batch file, with this, and that'll restart. Um, so as soon as that batch file runs, the computer will restart. And then under Task, sed task Scheduler, um, uh, you can just set it so that it runs that at runs that batch file at midnight or 12.01 a.m. Um, every day and then once you've done that you can also copy this batch file that you use for mining um, into your startup folder um, so that as soon as the computer starts up it'll start mining um, and there you go um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will catch you next time